everybody. Um, <clears throat> this is Mr. Gallagher checking in on you. Welcome to today, first day of our distance learning. You might hear people talking about the idea of online learning or distance learning. <clears throat> I'm going to call it distance learning because usually we're together in the same room doing the same thing and learning at the same time. But because we're apart, you're in your house and I'm in mine, I'm just going to call it distance learning. I've mentioned to your families and your parents that I'm going to make a series of videos, like the one you're watching now, so we can still work together. This isn't a vacation, even though school is closed. It's called a school closure. It's not like when we've had breaks at midwinter and at winter time, or we would have in the summertime. It's a school closure, which means everyone is still obligated or responsible to continue their work. That means I, as a teacher, and all of my teacher friends, and you as students, my student friends, are continuing to still work. I'm going to have a few things to do each day, and I think for the sake of ease for you and your families, I'll make each of the videos separate for a while. I think that will be helpful. That way you can um, choose the one that you want to work on at that time. In class, we do things kind of on a schedule, but this way I'll have about four or five videos each day and then you can choose whether the next one you'd like to do is social studies, some nation and world work, or some reading work, or word work, or math, some science, a little bit of art, and those kind of things. You can choose which one you want to do next. I'm hoping you're able to continue them um, each day. Some of them will build upon each other, and then some will just, as we say, stand alone. Um, number one. Hello, nice to see you again, and please say hello to your family if they're with you now or when you see them later. I'm thinking about you and everyone in your family every single day. Yesterday, um, I was able to see a bunch of students, almost everybody, and that really felt good in my heart. Um, it helped me feel connected to you, and I'm hoping these videos are the next thing to do. I have some notes I want to take care of, so I'm going to look down uh, um, sometimes to be sure that I remember to say all the things I hope to today. Uh, when we were together last time, the very last thing when those of us who were in school, we talked about feelings. Um, the announcement came so quickly, you came back from art and suddenly were in the room and I asked you to come in quickly and you were cooperative and we were talking about feelings because I was telling you that school was closed. At that point, school was closed for 14 days or two weeks, but that really meant 11 classroom days. Since we saw each other, that has tripled. It went from two weeks to six weeks, two, four, six. And um, things are different, and that's why I'm starting these videos with you. On that day, we talked about feelings, and I, it was, that was new news to us, Ms. Sorensen and I, when we were sitting in front of you. Remember I said, if you are feeling sad, raise your hand. If you're feeling surprised, raise your hand. If you're feeling confused, raise your hand. If your stomach is spinning like mine is, raise your hand. That was just really a check-in. It was so close to the end of the school day that I was unable to talk with each one of you and I wanted to hear you individually. <clears throat> I did hear you when you talked to friends. Grown-ups like you are trying to figure this out. It's, here's a word, unprecedented. Let's put that in our brain three times. Unprecedented, unprecedented, unprecedented. And press it so it sticks. That means something we haven't experienced before. There's been world health problems before, but nothing really as big as this in the lifetime of the grown-ups you know and care about. So we are still figuring out every day how to do this with you. You know what that means, safety and teaching. Those are my two responsibilities to you every single day, keeping you safe and then being a teacher and teaching you things. I can't do this until this happens. And your families have been doing that for you long before you came to my kindergarten class. They keep you safe every day, and then they teach you things. And you know you came to my class so smart, knowing how to do many things from your family and from your pre-kindergarten teachers. So kudos to them. <clears throat> and your families are doing the same thing right now. Some of them are working from home while they're still taking care of you. That's unusual. When it's a vacation, people are not working. You, you're at home. You do things. <clears throat> you might travel someplace. But right now, your parents are doing the best they can trying to do work. You know they're working from home, lots of them, and then still take care of you and your siblings, your sisters and brothers. 
I'm hoping you can be your best self during these days. That means really being your best self, cooperating as much as you can, listening as much as you can, and this. Set an example. If you're in your house with your parents and you, show them you can be your best person. If you're in your house with sisters and brothers, some of them younger and some of them older, try to be the best example by listening to your families, cooperating, doing the things they tell you, giving them the space they need, because remember, they're working still at the same time. That's my wish, number one, is that your families feel safe so everyone can learn. They can learn how to cope with this experience together and then learn the things that we're going to talk about in our distance learning. I welcome your comments anytime you can. Until I set up a different system, if you want to communicate with me, please ask your dads and moms to um, let you come by the computer and either you could type a message using the keyboard like we do in Tech Lab or you could tell them and they could type and send a message to you. I'll respond back with a similar kind of um, answer through the computer. If you did something interesting, I got some nice um, pictures yesterday of people's work at home. I also saw, got some things in person. Feel free to take a photo of that and send it to me so we can still stay connected. Um, uh, that, that, that way our, our distance can feel closer like this. Um, I can check my list right here. Okay, good. Okay, um, I'm going to um, click this off for a second so it can be shorter, and then I'm going to make another video in just a second. Hang on.